thankful for this fine institution. I think we're all happy to be here at USC. We love our players, love our school. Uh, unfortunately, tonight we didn't play very well, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, a lot to be thankful for out there. So hopefully you all enjoyed your day off, and um, uh, we're back at it now. Uh, tonight, Texas A&M played better than us, uh, and they deserve to win. You were saying out on the court um, after the game that uh, when Texas and m went on the run after you tied it in the second half that it seemed like some of the players got deflated. Uh, what, what, what were you seeing and, and what, I guess, what, what, kind of, what kind of deflated do you see? We kept missing easy shots, the shots that we normally make. And they went on a 19-3 to run. We were in the game, it was tied at 42-all, and we had some turnovers, they got some easy transition. And then we, we missed a lot of open jump shots and we missed some shots in the lane at the rim. And it, it just deflates you if, if you, because we hadn't been shooting that great all game and then, and then we were back in the game. Uh, so so uh, that, that's, uh, you just see it on their faces that, uh, that uh, was, it was tough, uh, it was a tough stretch for us. And uh, we just have to shoot the ball better and, and I'll take the blame for that. Uh, whatever I did to prepare the team obviously did not work, whether it's their legs are tired or, or uh, we didn't get enough shooting in this week or or maybe I had the wrong rotation in, so I, it's a, this game is on me. Uh, this is the worst uh, game we've shot the ball from the field since since we've been here in five years, and, and so that's on me. Coach, did their length interfere with your shooting at all? When you're wide open from the three-point line, length doesn't matter. But yes, uh, a couple times in the lane, uh, they they had five, six. Uh, they had seven block shots. We had six, so both teams were long. So, so yeah, it, it affected uh, seven of those shots and probably a couple others that were challenged and, and uh, were tough for us in the lane. Is Robert Williams very physical guy? Yeah, close particular challenges, especially for Ben, team like this size was, was an issue at times. Uh, well, well, Benny's a terrific basketball player, and, and he had an off game tonight, but he'll bounce back. He, he's been he's been a great player for us for uh, since third season. So we wouldn't be here without Benny Boatwright, and, and uh, everyone has bad games, uh, uh, but we believe in him. He's one of the best players in the United States. You know, beating them last year, do they appear to be a much different uh, team this year? Or same right? team. We're the same team. When I say same, I mean it's a lot of good players on the court, uh, both teams. Uh, you have a little different. Now, we didn't have the D'Anthony Melton. Uh, it was a little different because he played great down there last year. Uh, and they've added a couple players, like grad transfer and Wilson, and, and a couple of their freshmen are, are, are pretty good. And, and we added some freshmen that are pretty good. And so. But the bulk of the, the uh, rotation are the same, and, and uh, we thought it'd be two good college basketball teams playing each other, uh, which it was. We just didn't play as well as they did. I know they're not ranked in the top 10, but they're probably a top 10 caliber team. You guys are a top 10 team. Um, when you play a team like that this early in the season, uh, and the outcome is like what it was, what do you want the team to, to take from this, or what do you learn from it? Well, I think you can learn from wins and losses. And We'll watch the film. Uh, I thought our defense was good enough to win. Uh, our offense was not. And, and uh, whether it's missing open shots or, or, or tough shot selection or, or uh, being impatient or not executing whatever we're supposed to be doing. Uh, uh, but we'll learn something from it for sure. With how much foul trouble you the Nick has had, how was he able to, you know, going up against a, a front line like theirs, how was he able to stay out of foul trouble and have such a good game? He was terrific tonight. He gave us great energy. He played good defense, one-on-one -on -one in the post. He challenged their shots, and then he was able to uh, score 11 points and get four offensive rebounds, seven rebounds overall. So that's the type of pro productivity, productivity we're looking for from him, and um, I thought that was his best game of the season. Uh, he had been in foul trouble early. He sprained his ankle in the second game, so his minutes have been a little different. Uh, but if he can keep giving us this uh, uh, production off the bench, uh, he'll improve and it really help us 